Hi, my name is Jasmine R. Castillo. I am a producer, a curator, a little bit of photography, a writer, and a storyteller. Escape Artist Collective is a platform that provides these interactive experiences with unconventional artistry, where we bring you behind the scenes into the lifestyle of these artists. We are exhibiting our works here at El Barrio's Art Space, PS109. I always wanted to see these artists create, and I was always curious at how they created. Like, what is their process like? What does it feel like to see a piece grow, to start from nothing to something? I feel it in my chest. I know when it's right, and I know when it's wrong, and I know when to hit the shutter button and when I don't, and I get off on that. Like, for me, when I feel that feeling, I know what I'm doing is what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm. I'd rather have people not like what I do, because you'll never forget it. Yeah. You could hate it, and I'm cool, 100% cool with that. Because when you leave, you're going to be like, yo, what was that mother painting? But you don't notice nobody else's shit, because everything looks the same. It's a uh, cucumber, crab, um, kimchi. I'm doing what I did with my three-dimensional sculptures and creating environments, almost like set designs, so that I could uh, build an environment that the, uh, the viewer could go in and uh, um, see what it is that's going through my mind. I painted my dress today. It was the best feeling in the world because no one can tell me not to make a mess. No one can tell me not to do it. This right here teaches you patience, it teaches you to sit, and uh, it takes time, you know? So, and when you're done, you have something that's gonna last basically forever. I see you have collage, graffiti influence. It's just really urban. Yeah, you know? a little bit of everything. That comes from like riding the trains and all that. Like I'm 30, so I got to see a little, little bit of it. But my father used to go back and forth from Spanish Harlem to the Bronx, and that kind of like grew all my, I would say, piqued my interest. I basically draw with a knife, you know, and uh, there's no uh, pre uh, uh, planning in my cuts. It just goes. Uh, Anything that makes makes that little piece of metal theirs. So in a way, that's just taking something that's meaningless at the moment and making it purposeful and, and very dear. I literally shopped for the perfect mirror until I got it and shattered it. And I've been using it in um, this series as a part of uh, kind of breaking down, reflection, putting back together. And then I kind of realized like, oh man, I can, instead of me having to draw this out or paint it out, I can, I can just like move at this angle or whatever and I got the composition together. And so I had these artists create these pieces as an extension of their identity and as a representation of their life. We can see them creating and be in that space and time and then also to engage with them, communicate with them. So on opening night, we had six artists creating lives. Mag3, Cole Walnuts, Chef Dismology, Teeny Love, and William B.I. Slow. So for closing night, we have the other six that are creating. Adon, Juan, Bora Pam, they're a dance crew that work with actually really young adult artists between the ages of 10 through 17. Marco Gallota, Ad Astra, Giannina Gutierrez, and VTech Visual. I want people to come in expecting the unexpected and really enjoying themselves and just taking away like, you know what, I can create anything. But well, you see how much fun it is. I mean, that, look, that was awesome. See? That was awesome. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it.